A long time ago, in a distant forest, there lived a little bear. The little bear's name is Xiao Bai, and he is the cutest little bear in the forest. Xiao Bai has white hair, a pair of black eyes, and a small mouth. It likes to play in the forest and play with small animals. One day, while playing in the forest, Xiao Bai discovered a strange cave. The cave was very deep, and Xiao Bai could not see what was inside. It approached the cave curiously and took a look inside. It was dark in the cave, and nothing could be seen. Xiao Bai wanted to go in and take a look, but was afraid. It hesitated for a moment, then mustered up the courage to go in. It was very dark in the cave, and Xiao Bai could only move forward gropingly. It walked for a long time and finally reached the end of the cave. At the end of the cave is a treasure. The treasure contains gold, silver, precious stones, and all kinds of treasures. Xiao Bai was shocked when he saw the treasure. It has never seen so many treasures. It wants to take all the treasures home and show them to mom and dad. Xiao Bai was about to put the treasure into his bag when he suddenly heard a voice saying, Little bear, you can't take the treasure away. Xiao Bai turned his head and saw an old witch standing at the entrance of the cave. The old witch has a pointed nose, a long beard, and a pair of green eyes. Xiao Bai was frightened and said, Old witch, what are you going to do? The old witch said, This treasure is mine. You can't take it away. Xiao Bai said, But this treasure is in the cave. I just came in to take a look. The old witch said, No matter what, you can't take the treasure away. If you take the treasure away, I will punish you. Xiao Bai said, I won't take the treasure away. I just want to see it. The old witch said, Well, if you put the treasure back where it belongs, I won't punish you. Xiao Bai nodded and put the treasure back where it belongs. The old witch looked at Xiao Bai and said, You are an honest child, and I admire you very much. I will give you a gift. I hope you will like it. After the old witch finished speaking, she took out a golden apple from her arms and handed it to Xiao Bai. Xiao Bai took the golden apple and said, Thank you, old witch. Xiao Bai took the golden apple and left the cave. He came home and showed the golden apple to his mother and father. Mom and dad were very happy and said, Xiao Bai is really a sensible child. Xiao Bai put the golden apple on the bedside table and thought, I will treasure this golden apple forever as a reward for my honesty. From then on, Xiao Bai became more honest. It met many small animals in the forest and became friends with it. Xiao Bai's story was also spread to every corner of the forest, and everyone praised Xiao Bai as the honest little bear in the forest. <laughs>